Hi and welcome to City Happenings. I'm Mayor David Black. Once again, a Sump Library volunteer is recognized by the State Legislature on Advocacy Day. We'll introduce you to her. And the annual distracted driving exercise employs an incredible reality for all involved. The city's police chief gives his thoughts. And Midlands Hospital recently held its own real-time exercise for first receivers in trauma centers. Hear what some of the volunteer participants have to say. All of these stories are next in City Happenings for the week of May 2nd. Thanks, Mayor Black. A Sump Library volunteer was recognized by the state legislature on Advocacy Day. It was a very amazing and honorable opportunity that I had, and I'm very appreciative for that opportunity that I had, thanks to Kathy and the people that work here. Allison says this all is an unexpected surprise. I never really expected it. I just love what I do here, and I've... I used to volunteer at my elementary school library, and so that kind of got me here, and I loved it ever since. What makes her love what she does? Working with the kids a lot, shelving books. I love seeing the little kids coming in, coming in for um, reading time, story time, activities, stuff like that. For a volunteer, she has a wide variety of duties. I do organizing, shelving. I help with kid um, story times every Thursday. And then if we have events that we have, um, different stations, I help out with that, um, paperwork, any really of that stuff that she needs help with. Anything really she needs help with, I help her out with. Allison shared her thoughts about working for the Sump Youth Services Manager. Oh, she makes me laugh a lot. <laughs> she makes it fun. The annual distracted driving exercise was held at Papillion La Vista South High School and included local and area police and fire. Papillion's police chief gave his thoughts about the event. This is a great opportunity for us to show uh, children, especially those getting ready to graduate and go to prom, that uh, these kinds of incidents can happen. It's dangerous uh, to drink and drive. It's dangerous to be distracted in driving, and this incident is a good reflection of that. Lyons notes that the police department trains for the unexpected. This is a great opportunity for the officers uh, to not only showcase that this can incident can happen, but we put our skills to great use. Us working with the, the fire department on uh, extracting people, um, holding people back, uh, parents that want to go up and see the uh, and get involved in the incident that might be getting in the way of rescue operations, all this stuff is real. Midlands Hospital hosted a first receiver's exercise for the trauma unit. One of the people acting as a patient explains why she got involved. I think it would be like a really cool experience and I've never done anything like it before. Lauren feels the need to help medical staff stay sharp. I think it's really beneficial for them and I think that they should, like everybody should have the chance to do that. Lauren points out that this is a great experience. I just never done anything like it before. I didn't even know they were doing stuff like this until now. <laughs> Another patient says it's important that he got involved to help out the medics and everything and so they can just know how to do it when it actually happens. Because I've been in a crash and it's not what you think it is. It's the whole, I don't know, it's just different. And they need people like this to do good. Now that we have hit the first week of May, there are many events ahead in our fine town. Please go to the city's webpage and check out what's coming up. There are lots of ways to stay up to date with what's happening in Papillion. You can find us on Facebook, follow the city of Papillion on Twitter, or even watch our YouTube channel and information about all of our departments and programs is available on our website. For more about Papillion, go to www.papillion.org or just call the Mayor's Hotline at 402-827-1111. Thanks for watching.